Yeah, yeah, what's going on, everybody? We got something exciting for you. Bonus content for the Snapcast podcast. Uh, we are going to do this channel's very first unboxing video. Since, since we aren't allowed to go to Magic Fest right now, Channel Fireball is giving us the, the privilege of receiving Magic Fest in a box. I ordered one, and, and I just got it in the mail today, and I thought, what would be cooler than to open it up, share with you exactly what I'm seeing, my reactions as I'm seeing it. I hope you like this video, and, and if you do, hit that like button, subscribe button. Uh, always follow us for the audio podcast that comes out Friday each Friday, and let's just get to it. Give, me, give myself some references. So here's the package that came in the mail today. Thank you, Postal Service. Everybody support the Postal Service. Uh, we can really use it. It's interesting. They labeled it on this end, so I don't know exactly what's going to be the top or the bottom, but let's try this. Uh, using my handy-dandy box cutter, you notice I only have a little bit exposed so that I'm not risking cutting into the contents. You know, at least it's little as possible. Oh man, pile of stuff and packing peanuts. I'm going to move this box to the side. We're going to pull out some things one at a time. This was the commander package. And so as such, this was supposed to be enough for four players. Uh, no, nice. I'm trying to tell, in addition to these sleeves, it looks like there's something else in the back. Maybe some perfect fits or penny sleeves. Let's just get everything out and then we'll, we'll really go through stuff. Ooh, look at this. 12, 12 D6. Ultra Pro Dice, with a little Planeswalker logo on them. I know some folks that really do like these. Put that aside. Uh, deck box, number one. Deck box. There's stuff in there. Okay, deck box number two. Deck box number three. Deck box number four. Let's get all this in the frame. We're going back. Okay. So two more packages of sleeves. Cool. This is truly the commander set. This is designed for four players. Look. Bam. Four players right there. We have... Oh, spicy. The nuts. The peanuts. Uh, oh, God. Peanuts are everywhere. Fish Boy. This is the Zach Moeller playmat. So with the with the commander package, you basically got four of everything. There are four. Four count them randomized playmats. Cool Merfolk one. Ooh. Rail. Idea. Oh, ooh, nice. We got some. This is that was from GPLA. That's cool. This was from Magic Fest Oakland. Oh, I didn't. Didn't even notice that. Hold on. Memphis. Walking in Memphis. My feet ten feet off the ground. That's kind of cool. I just noticed that. So that's from Memphis. This would have been from Magic Fest to Oakland. Couldn't go, but we got Magic Fest in a box. Oh, what is this fairy for one blue blue that lets you look at a, another player's hand? This is the selfie stick art that I know Kevin Flagg hates. Man, each of these are backwards. Uh, everyone's favorite Boros Angel. 
from GP Atlanta. Cool. All right, give me the hot stuff. What is going on here? Ooh. Um, what is this stuff? Okay. I mean, you can tell those are promos. Looking through the rest of these peanuts because there's some, some surprises here. Now, let's see. I don't think this was supposed to come with bolts. I'll have to go back and, and look it up online. But, oh man, these guys totally hooked us up. We got another Mutavolt, another full art bolt, which I think I only had three of, so this might actually complete my set. That's sweet. We got a set of the, uh, the promo lands and foil. And then, undone. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, four non-foil promo path to exile. I think at this point, most of you have probably seen that art. But it is beautiful. And you know me and my style. If you've listened to me on this channel, you know I am all about the foils. Four of these paths in foil. Just gorgeous. So happy to have these in my collection. I will probably still play my Rebecca Gay foils that I, I got from Kevin Flagg uh, for the sentimental value. But I could not not have a set of these in my collection. What else is in here? Oh, oh, mommy. Four of these sweet soul rings. In non-foil. One in foil. This will be going right in Nekusar for sure. And then... Four more of these lands. So I got, as, as far as bonus stuff that I can tell right now, there was a fifth one of those land packages, one of the bolts, and one of the mutavolts from, from former event promos. Super, super cool. What's in here? There must be, did I miss something else in the package description? Oh, oh, Howard Lyon, Angel of Finality. Witches of the Coast, a sweet, sweet art print. Man, that might make it into the uh, the backdrop of the podcast here for future episodes. We'll have to get this framed and on the wall. This might be my first piece of magic art. Let's look at, I just want to look at these because it almost did look like there's something different in the back. No, those are just those sleeves, but it does look like this is 100 sleeves, like this is for C Commander, Soul Ring, Art on the back, that, that promo soul ring art, super sweet. Anyway, it's uh, not as fun as actually going and losing at a Magic Fest like I normally would, but sort of a cool way to, to scratch that itch. I, I posted on Facebook recently a joke about being, uh, you know, they call it cardboard crack, and when you're an addict and you can't get out to the shop and can't get your fix, maybe, just maybe, the Magic Fest in a Box solution is, is how us dope heads are going to get our fix. So that was pretty cool. I actually really liked, you know, that they, they threw a little something extra in there, which is really nice. That was a, a pretty pricey product. I really do favor promos, so... I'm excited to, to complete that place at a bolt. Uh, the extra muta vault, seeing a lot of play, obviously, in Pioneer is, is a super good value add to the package. If you like this and want to see more product openings, I do have some other sealed products that, that I had picked up from Wizards that uh, may have some stained glass walkers in there. I, I would like to open those, so leave a comment uh, and give me that excuse to do that, all right? So... We'll see you with the full podcast when Mike comes back 
later this week. Stay healthy, you guys. I look forward to seeing you when this all shakes out. Peace.